Hey guys, it's your girl OG Teddy Bean. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna do a simple everyday makeup look, and this is going to be simple for real. Because I know a lot of YouTubers talk about simple, and then they're doing like a thousand things. Where you're like, oh, holy shit! Like I don't even know what the hell's going on right now. So I'm literally just gonna do my brows, foundation, concealer, blush, set my face, contour, shit like that. But it's gonna be in a in a way that is very straightforward, very easy, and very simple for everyone to follow. So, if, if you're wondering why my last couple videos, my setup is different, it is because I'm trying to find a setup that is aesthetically pleasing for my viewers. So if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button if you're already- <laughs> If you've already been rocking with me, smash that bell notification so you know when I post new videos. And if you're new to my channel, click that notification bell too so you know what's going on, okay? So, let us get into it. I just washed my hair and I have like... I don't know if conditioner was still in my hair when I applied my curling cream. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna start with my brows and I'm going to use my very little Velux Brow Liner from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to do my brows. Let me get you in a little closer. Okay, so when I'm doing my brows, one, I like to comb out the little brows that I have and just kind of comb them into the shape that I want them to be in. And then I'm gonna take my brow pencil and I always start by lining the bottom. And then once I line the bottom, I slowly start filling in the body of it and then I go towards the top. Mm. Mm. And I didn't even conceal that yet. The left one is a little higher, but that is okay. Your brows are supposed to be sisters. They're not twins. Alistair Fraternal. Okay, so now that my brows are finish being shaped. <laughs> I'm actually gonna conceal them and I'm gonna use my MAC 24 hour extend 24 hour smooth wear concealer. The way I conceal my brows might be a little tricky for some people. This is the step that I follow but you can you don't even have to do this step. I like to do this step because it gives my brows it, get, it just adds that added clean touch to your makeup look. I don't highlight the top of my brows frankly because my hand isn't that steady and when I do it I just mess up the whole eyebrow and who has time to be starting over again hell to the no so what I do is I just kind of apply it not directly well I mean close enough to underneath the brow and then I'll take a flat shader brush and that's when I really clean it up so I almost use the brush to kind of clean up the line If you've made an error in the process where you were actually applying your brows, this step is great because you can just clean it up here. Concealer is like an eraser. I'm gonna take this real tight. I'm going to take this. I'm gonna take this real techniques buffing brush and blend the rest of this out. I can't tell you the last time I've used this brush to do this, and it is actually perfect. It literally busts out this concealer so well. And I'll put the remaining concealer on my eyelids. Now that I'm done and doing my perfect eyebrows, I'm actually going to apply a bit more concealer on my lid and I'm gonna use that kind of as an eyeshadow base. I know I said I wasn't gonna do eyeshadow, but I'm just gonna do one color, just add a bit of the dimension on my eye. So I'm gonna use a bit of concealer and I'm just gonna blend this all out on my eyelid. I'm gonna be setting my eyelids with my MAC Pearl Set Powder in the shade Invisible. This is a really great powder. I find it really sets not only my eyeshadow, but when I apply it on my face, it really sets my makeup. The only thing is that, actually, I think they have this in like a, a different shade, but if they had it in different tones, I think it would be amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to take, it's kind of like a terracotta shade. And I'm gonna apply that on my lid and in the crease. I'm just patting it on. And I love this palette, the colors are so pigmented. And I'm bringing the shade into the crease, just so it's high enough, so when I use my blending brush, I can blend it out. So I'm taking this Morphe E22 brush, and then I'm just gonna start working this brush in small circular motions. On the outer portions, I'm just gonna blow it out a bit, because I want this to look very diffused. I don't want it to look harsh, the way it kinda does now. Now I'm going in back and forth motions. I'm gonna apply a little bit more of that shade and just bring it a little higher up. 
and just apply again some more of that on the lid because I did lose some of that shade while I was blending and work it in again. I'm gonna apply my Too Faced Hangover Plenishing Face Primer. I have the sample size and I actually like this a lot. I find it really hydrates the face and keeps my makeup on for a while. I'm mixing my Pro Longwear NC50 foundation with my Studio Fix NC47 foundation to create a cocktail that matches my skin. And I think this matches very well, actually. I just realized I didn't put my lashes on. <laughs> Woo! Okay, Tanisha, let's get it together. When I go back to my eyes, I'll do my lashes then. But for now, I'm gonna go back into that same concealer and apply that under my eyes. I'm gonna use my Real Tidings Blending Sponge and blend that concealer out. Now we're gonna contour. I'm gonna take my Studio Fix NW46 foundation and contour and I'm gonna apply that on the hollows of my cheekbone. Now contouring depends on your face shape. So if you're someone who has a rounder face, you might have to look into different techniques that go work for you. Because for me, I just go under here, here. Basically the hollows of my face. And I'm gonna put a tat along the bridge of my nose. Just a little bit. I'm going to take this MAC 130 short handle brush, and spritz it with some Fix Plus and I'm gonna blend that contour out. So I'm gonna take that MAC set powder and set the areas that I just concealed. And I'm gonna use my blending sponge. I find that this really applies the powder a little better. It really pushes it into the skin. We're gonna take this NYX setting powder and you know what I don't know where my contour up found it I'm gonna take this real techniques brush and apply some of this over the areas that I just contoured just very lightly well not very lightly kind of a little more heavy-handedly but this is to set the contoured areas just the same way I set my concealed areas this is the hard to get extra dimension skin finish blush and I'm gonna use this real techniques brush to apply the blush I don't know where I got this from either and I don't know the name of it I'm so sorry I'm gonna take this 230 brush from MAC and apply that same shade underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna apply this coffee eye cool pencil in my lower lash line. I'm gonna apply some of this gold shade here in my inner eye corner. I'm gonna apply these lashes from Broadway. I think they are number 99. Okay guys, so I've applied my mascara and I've applied my bottom lashes and this is what my face looks like so far. So I'm going to do my lips and honestly, I'm gonna go get Shisha. So I don't really want to do the most on my lips. So I'm just gonna apply my Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glue on my lips. I think I'm going to add a touch of this Juvia's Place highlighter. This is the Tribe Highlighter Volume 1. It is this rich, gold shade I was filming another video and these are bright so I'm gonna take this brush and just touch it like a tad and apply it to the tops of my cheeks Ooh. so this pretty much sums up my simple makeup look if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up and comment and thank you so much for watching bye